All right, we welcome you back. Do you find that as the temperatures rise, you have more trouble sleeping? You know, there is a connection. Scientists in Denmark have discovered that hot weather could be preventing you from getting a good night's sleep. So what do we do about it? Dr. Joseph O'Gile is from the Clayton Sleep Institute well, here. Always, always telling us how to get a better night's sleep. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Randy. All right, so this is a study was done. These uh, Danish uh, researchers studied 45,000 smart watches and wristbands from 68 countries. And so what did they find? Well, it's interesting. They found as the temperature goes up, as it gets over 77 degrees, we get approximately 15 minutes per night less sleep. At, because we go to bed later, we get up earlier. Yeah. Um, it, it's unaffected, interestingly, even when you're in air conditioning. I was going to ask Isn't that. Isn't that interesting? So yeah. the outdoor temperature is what dictates what kind of sleep you get inside, even if the AC is it on. It does appear that it does affect That's us. That's really weird. It's really interesting. Sometimes we think with other things like emphysema and so forth, it's the barometric pressure. Right. So it's not completely clear. They're just monitoring smart watches that's all they did so this is data that needs further analysis but it is interesting especially as we're going through this heat wave yeah so how much total sleep are we losing anyway well i think when during this time of year people are losing a significant amount of sleep they're staying up later it's peak summer right. and the heat and of course our friends and neighbors who don't have adequate air conditioning or whose air conditioning breaks are much more affected than those of us that are in air conditioning. We want to be open and sensitive to that as well. Uh, any other certain demographics, male, female, older folks, younger folks? It appears that females and older folks are affected more. Wow. Not, we're not clear exactly why that is, but that is what the data bore out. And, and the study said, and this one blew me away, a person could lose more than 50 hours of sleep by the next century. That <coughs> Cumulative, of course. Yes, interesting data. I think speculating out 70 or 80 years is a bit difficult for the study. I have a little bit of concern about that. I mean, right, right. we don't know what's going to happen in a few weeks, much less 70 <laughs> years. But it is an interesting, and it's a fun study, and I think more to come. The, the spread of the countries also was a, a little interesting. They need bigger and broader data, but we're going this way with this big data kind of information. Wow, that's really interesting. So <laughs> 77 degrees, regardless of whether you have AC or not, will affect your sleep either way. Air conditioning, though, if you have it, does make it better. It does help. Over 86 degrees really sh showed significant reductions in sleep. So our our viewers who are our neighbors here should be aware of that. Wow, especially during the heat waves, and it's going to get a lot hotter next week. Well, Doc, I think this is our last interview together. Randy. Oh, what is you know, that? This is a little goodie bad of bag for activities, because I know you're active. Yes. And you're a treasure to our St. Louis community, and we want to thank you for all that you've done for oh, us. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Doc. And so. How did you know I'm an office supply junkie? He gave me a ton <laughs> of pens. I am. My husband's going to. Oh my gosh, he'll have a fit. Thank you. I'm going to go through this. <gasps> Post-it notes. I'm in heaven. How did you know? Thank you, Doc. I appreciate it. And the best of luck, Randy. Thank you. Well, I'm sure we'll be talking to each other some more for sure. Dr. Joseph Ojal, if you want to learn more about this study or what they do at the Clayton Sleep Institute, like it says here right on the bag, we've got their links on our website as well as our Fox 2 mobile app. All right, time to toss to Timmy. Hey, Tim.